us to the fourth episode in a series of 12 episodes that are focused on the August 2023 Mathematics Paper 2. So in the first three episodes, we covered question 1 through 3. So if you haven't seen the first three episodes, please check out on our YouTube channel. We've got a playlist dedicated to answering all the 12 questions in this paper. And also take note that we've done paper 1. So check also on our YouTube channel. We've got a playlist that contains a solution to all the 23 questions. It is important that you go through and understand the concepts, not memorize and understand the concepts. If you understand the concepts, mathematics becomes very easy because the questions are the same. Just the numbers that changes and also the numbering, they jumble them so that they test whether you understand the principle, not memorizing the questions. So let us look at question 4a from construction. Again, this question always comes. Most of it is from section A. If you understand the steps, if you understand the principles behind, this question is a giveaway question. So question 4a, Loma number 1, construct a triangle KLM in which KL is equal to 10 cm, LM is equal to 7 cm, and angle KLM is equal to 120 degrees. Loma number 2 of M, measure and write the length of KM. Question B, within triangle KLM, draw the locus of points which are Loma number 1, 5.5 cm from M. Loma number 2, 1 cm from LM. Loma number 3, equidistant from M and L. C, a point P within triangle KLM is such that it is less than or equal to 5.5 cm from M greater than or equal to 1 cm from LM and nearer to L than M. Indicate clearly by shading the region in which P must lie. Okay, so let us approach this question step by step. Let us start with question A. So to answer question A, you need three things. You need a lula, then a protractor and a compass. So let us start by looking at the triangle. So the triangle is KLM. That's a triangle. Then we have KL, 10 cm LM, 7 cm, and angle KLM. So the angle 120 degrees is subtended at L. So we need to start with point L. So I'll come at L and put a dot here. So you start L, we have a dot here. Then I'll start with him, LM. So from L to M, we have 10. I mean 7 cm. So 7 cm, what you need, you need to extend the compass, this compass, extend that this is 7 cm, I mean, this is 7 cm. So if this is 7 cm, what you do now is, you come and make this arc by placing this pin at tip L, then you make the arc at M. So that's the arc that we need. This arc, once you have this arc, then you join this point like that. Once you join that point, then you have a point M, which is this one. So this is the point M. So once you have point M, next is you're going to use a protractor to make this angle here. So you need to make that angle to be 120 degrees. So once you do that, the next thing that you do is by using this protractor, so you put it nicely, the way it's supposed to be, so you need to put it that way, then you rotate it in such a way that it is exact at line line and exact at point L, then you measure 120 degrees. Once you measure this 120 degrees, you make a point somewhere here, then you come and get the compass and extend this compass now to 10 cm. Then you're going to make an arc by it. The way someone did, you put a pin here, then you make this arc here. So once you make that arc, then you need to join with a ruler. You join this line up the point it missed the arc. Then you make K. This is K. Once you do that, then you're almost done with the triangle. So you have to be sharp and make sure that your measurements are as accurate as possible. After you do that, the next step is to just join the two points. So you join M and K, then you're going to get this side. Then you are done with 
making the the triangle that you are required this is uh, will be the case like that then after that you measure if you measure correctly you discover that this will be 14.8 centimeter this km so this one becomes 14.8 centimeter so you need to label this one as in a b loma numero or a loma numero 2 once you do that you are good to go you get these two marks then the next step is to proceed from here we go and start answering question b question b loma numero 1 we need to find the locus so b leads within triangle klm draw the locus of points which are 5.5 cm from m Okay, so 5.5 centimeter from M. Again, you come and extend this compass in such a way that the the measurement becomes 5.5. So once you have this measurement 5.5, then you come and put this pin. You put it here. Then you make an arc from this point. So this will be the arc. So that arc is. 5.5 cm from m so any point from here to here all these points are 5.5 cm once you do that you are good to go and you get that one mark so at the end of question b loma numero 1 this is how the shape will look of your drawing then at this point you proceed you look at the loma numero 2 of beam which leads 1 cm from lm so we're looking for all the locus of points within triangle klm that are 1 cm from lm so lm we know is this side so to find this again we need the the compass so this compass now we need to reduce it to 1 cm so it should just be 1 cm exactly so until it is 1 cm like that then you need to get this pin here then make an arc so you make this arc then you can come here again and make this arc then use the ruler and make a line that is tangent to these two arcs so this will be the line that you are going to get and this will be loma numero 2 of b once you do that you are going to have the shape that looks like this at the end of loma numero 2 of b once you do that you get this one mark then we proceed so we look at loma numero 3 of b equidistant from m and d l so equidistant means the same distance equal distance so now if the equidistant from m and l it means we have to be at we have to be moving from point l so that as we are moving this distance from the line from from m line m to compared to from k this distance must be the same so all these distance must be the same that's what it means so to do this the principle that we need to do is you need to go at k so when you are told equidistant from m and l so you ask yourself which point is missing here the point which is missing is k so you need to go and b at k then you need to be moving in this direction so at k you get this compass you bring it here you, you can subtend it at any any distance you can say maybe 2 cm or n but the principle is when you are here make this first arc without changing the distance maintain the same distance If it's two centimeter, you maintain it. If it's three centimeter, you maintain and make another arc here. Then get the same compass. Then bring this pin here. Then make this arc. Then bring it here without changing the distance here. Make this arc. At the point where these two arcs are intersecting, then you use your ruler. and come and draw a line so you get your ruler now the ruler should pass through these points so you come and get your ruler and draw these lines so once you draw that line what you notice is everything becomes straightforward and so you come and join these points and make a line that passes through k 
and draw like that once you do that then you are almost done with it, this question so now what you discover is we're going to have this line which is passing like here so this line is equidistant from m and d l they are equal distance so from here to here and this point this distance are equal that's what it means so once you do that then you are good to go and get these two good marks as easy as that then now we can look at question c so question c a point p within triangle klm is such that it is less than or equal to 5.5 centimeter from m so 5.5 centimeter from m is see this arc okay so we have that arc then greater than or equal to one centimeter from lm so lm is see this line then the points that are greater are to the this side which is the bottom that are greater or equal to one centimeter from lm then nearer to l than m so this line is equidistant from m and l so but we are told the line we are looking at this line is nearer to l where is l l is this side so it's this side than to m so we are looking in the upper side indicate clearly so we have this point it has to be down then this point this line it has to be this side then this side it has to be that side so we only mean with one part so it's this region in between this is the region we are interested in so that region is where p must lie so you need to shed this region in the middle once you shed that region then you do have answered this question so it's this line so this is where p must lie so once you shed there you get these two marks once you do that you are good to go and you get these four marks from this question and you will never meet any question that is so different from these question under construction you need to know the concept of equidistant that and also you need to know the points that how to measure collected once you do that you are home and dry then you will celebrate at the end of the day so thank you for joining me in this episode please join me in another episode as we look at question 5 in detail